Hi, I'm Dr. Joe Nemeth. I'm a periodontist in Southfield, Michigan, and today I want to talk about caries, which is not periodontal disease, but caries is a, let's call it a more technical name for cavities. Well, what are cavities or caries? A cavity is a area on a tooth that has been demineralized by acid typically caused by bacteria. Cavities in tooth decay are among the world's most common health problems. And generally, people don't know they have them until those cavities start getting deeper. What are some of the symptoms? Well, sometimes one has a toothache or tooth sensitivity, small holes in the teeth, staining, brown or black stains, sensitivity to cold, especially if one has sweets, sometimes one may suddenly feel a, 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 a discomfort or a sensitivity. And why is that? That's because the bacteria that cause the cavity when they come in contact with sugary foods, all of a sudden those foods work as a basis for the acid that those bacteria produce. The acid then causes sensitivity that's felt almost immediately. So what do we do to prevent or minimize cavities? Well, a plaque forms on the teeth. What is a plaque? Plaque is a film that forms around the tooth, particularly between the teeth. And that film has bacteria in it, and those bacteria can break down sugary foods into acids, which then attack the tooth. So how do you prevent cavities? Well, if you clean really thoroughly and make sure that you remove that plaque, then you remove any bacteria that might be causing the tooth decay. By the way, it's very interesting. Very often, tooth decay and periodontal disease are caused by different organisms. I've seen patients that have rampant decay and no periodontal disease. Other patients who have rampant periodontal disease, teeth are loose, pockets are deep, yet no decay. Sometimes they go together, but frequently they're caused by different organisms, different bacteria, different parasites. So once decay starts and those bacteria get into the tooth, it then becomes very difficult to stop the process because the bacteria are now inside the tooth even though you may be removing the plaque, you can't get to the bacteria that are now inside the tooth where the hole is, uh, where the decay has occurred. And that's why in order to stop that very frequently, you need to have a restoration or a filling or a crown where that part of the tooth is cut out. It's removed completely and a filling material or a crown is put in to protect and cover that so bacteria can't get into it anymore. If the bacteria get far into the tooth and the decay gets far into the tooth, it reaches the nerve. And once it reaches the nerve, that's almost always where you can feel it because now the nerve is infected and an infected nerve can be very, very painful to hot, particularly to cold, to biting pressure and then you will seek treatment because you almost don't have a choice in many cases. You simply can't live with this pain, which is almost a good thing about decay because decay will cause pain. Periodontal disease typically does not cause pain. And by the time you are really aware that there's something definitely wrong in periodontal disease, it may be too late to save the tooth. But if you have pain from decay, even though the tooth may be, the nerve may be involved, root canal can be done, removing the nerve, putting a filling in there and saving the tooth. So what can you do to minimize tooth decay? Well, avoid sugary foods, clean your teeth very thoroughly, eat healthy. Fluoride treatments can be helpful even in adults. Hey, the old saying, see your dentist regularly because these things can go unnoticed. They can be painless initially and it's better if you catch them early. So remember, Keep your teeth and keep your mouth healthy because if your mouth is healthy, you will be healthier and probably happier. So we'd love to hear from you, questions, comments, 
subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'd love to hear from you. At any rate, have a good day. Restore your smile and your health. Visit drnemoth.com to schedule your appointment today.